today we're going to make a female urination device. So you're going to need a bottle. This is a Coke bottle, one of the small ones, and it's great because it's got the kind of dip in and it's got quite a thin top and a small hole at the end. You don't want to get one of the ones with like a huge hole at the end. You'll also need some scissors or some kind of cutting device and some tape. This is gaffer tape. It's, it's great for making these. So the first thing I'm doing is marking with a sharpie where I want to cut and it's better to start smaller and then cut more away so that it fits and you're basically just trying to get it to fit in a nice way <laughs> so that it's not too big, there's not too much like area being covered and it's not too small. So once you've drawn your rough shape, just hold it against your bit, see if you think that's gonna fit and then start cutting that out. To start cutting, you'll need to stab a little hole in your bottle in the middle and yeah, then just cut out that shape you've drawn. It can be a little bit fiddly, so just, you know, keep at it, you'll get it. Once you've cut out the initial shape, hold it up against your bits again, see if you think that's gonna be a good fit. If not, try trimming it to make it a bit bigger until you think you've got the perfectly shaped hole. Then just go around the edges and any kind of sharp bits or rough bits, trim those off. We wanna get it as smooth as possible, even though we're gonna be taping over the top of it, you still don't really want any sharp, sticky out bits. Then take your tape, and we're just gonna tape around the edges of the hole. And the reason I'm using gaffer tape is because it's quite a strong tape, like, you know, if there are any sharp bits or anything, it's probably not gonna be able to poke its way through the gaffer tape. And it's quite a soft tape and it's very strong so it's unlikely to come undone. So I'm just cutting it into strips to go along all of the outside and it's kind of an awkward shape so you might need to cut darts or use small pieces of tape to make it actually kind of fit around the shape. And don't make the tape go too far on the inside of the bottle because obviously you're gonna be peeing in this and you don't wanna be peeing on the tape because this tape feels like it might be slightly absorbent. So yeah, you kinda of wanna avoid getting your pee on it. Once I've got the initial layer of tape down so that all that edge is covered, I like to just go over the joints with some little pieces of tape to make sure that you know, there's no way that tape's gonna shift or anything. There's no way any sharp little bits of plastic are gonna, are gonna get me. And then just go all the way around the edge with your fingers, squeezing down the tape, making sure that it is really, really well stuck down, that that edge is all nice and covered. There's no sharp bits poking out, anything like that. And that's it, you're done. I like to keep the lid for my bottle just so that, you know, if I use it, I have something to pop over the end so it's not gonna drip any remains that are left in there. But yeah, that is it. Now all you need to do is, you know, figure out how to use it, get some practice in, get that aim down. So I hope this is helpful, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.